And first up for you tonight, exclusive video of a fight inside the New Haven Police Department. It's now raising questions and concerns about how police staff their front desk right there. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mark Zinni. And good evening. I'm Erin Connolly. This is a story you will only see here on Channel 3. Channel 3's Stephanie Simone reached out to police about this video. Stephanie, what were you able to learn? Well, Erin, a source sent us this video. In it, you could see the fight goes on for about two minutes, too. Punches are thrown, and nobody tries to break it up. A fight captured at New Haven Police Headquarters, April 20th, just after one in the morning. Both men holding sticks. 13 seconds in, one takes a swing. We don't have their audio, but you can see the two talk back and forth. 30 seconds later, a woman walks into the foyer. The fight continues. A minute later, it escalates. Punches are thrown, a struggle ensues. The woman still there, and no officer comes into the frame. New Haven police tell us nobody was manning the desk at the time. A police station is normally a safe space for people. Our law enforcement analyst, retired state trooper Paul Vance, says it's highly unusual to have a front desk empty. Most of the time, there should be some, someone in the foyer to greet the public, to, to provide the service that's required. Uh, the only exception to that would be if an officer got called away for an emergency in the building. Keep in mind, four days after this fight, a Channel 3 reporter went into the police station at 7.30 at night, saw this sign, and snapped a picture. There are times when people will run into the front of a barracks or a police station to report an emergency, and they need to have contact with someone, someone in, in the station to be able to react to whatever that concern might be of that civilian. New Haven police tell us they are investigating this incident and did not elaborate. And I'm sure that the administration will look at this and say this shouldn't happen and, and, and make the necessary adjustments to ensure that it does not ever reoccur uh, in the foyer of that department. Now, I was emailing back and forth with the public information officer for the police department. She says they are aware of the video. They are investigating. When I asked if it's common to not have anybody at that front desk, she did not respond. The mayor's office is also aware and did not have a comment at this time. Stephanie Simone, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Some more